Hello learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video ay gagamit tayo ng tree diagram. So the process of counting the number of outcomes in a sample space is well illustrated with a tree diagram. So we're in magbibigay ako ng ilang examples na experiment at hahanapin natin yung sample space at kung ilan yung sample space. So basically mag-start tayo sa flipping a coin. So when you flip a coin So there are two possible outcomes. So meron tayo dito head at meron din tayo tail. So our sample space is head and tail. So there are two possible outcomes. So number of S is 2. For our second example, what if we are going to flip two coins? So therefore, there are two possible outcomes when a coin is flipped. So that is head or tail for our first example. So ngayon, for our first coin, So, our possible outcome ay head and tail. And then, for the second coin, So, kapag lumabas ay head, sa second coin, maaari pa rin lumabas yung head or tail. So, kapag naman ang lumabas sa first coin ay tail, Sa second uh, flip or sa second coin, maaari pa rin lumabas ang head and tail. So, ang ating mga outcomes, pagsasamahin lang natin. We have head, 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 tail. We have here tail, head. And then we have here, tail, tail. So, ito yung ating mga sample space. And the number of S is equal to 4. So, for our third example, so dun pa rin tayo sa coin. So, last na to sa coin. So, what if you are going to flip a coin thrice? So, when you say thrice, three times yung gagawin. So, we have here, ito yung sa first flip, and then ito sa second flip, and then ito yung sa third flip. So, dito sa first, ang pwedeng lumabas ay head and tail. Sa second ay head, tail, head, tail. So, for the third flip, what if sa second flip ang lumabas ay head? Maaari pa rin lumabas sa third clip ang head at tail. So, kapag tail naman, ganun din. We have head and tail. So, kapag naman tail and then head, so, maaari pa rin lumabas yung head and tail. So, kapag naman dalawa magkasunod na tail, so, maaari sa pangatlo ay maaari pa rin head or tail. So, pagsasamahin lang natin lahat. So, head, head, and head. So, you have three heads. Then, head, Head, tail. Next, head, tail, head. So, I hope na nakakasunod kayo. Pattern lang yan. Head, tail, tail. So, kapag naman tail yung nauna, so that is tail, head, head. Then, tail, head, tail. Then, tail, tail, head. And last but not least, one, tail, tail, tail. So, you have three tails. So, ito yung ating mga sample space. Ayan. So, bilangin natin. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So therefore, the number of sample space is 8. So for our last example, there are two white balls and one black ball in a box. You reach in and get a ball, record the color, replace it, and draw a ball. So therefore, what are the possible combinations for the first and second balls you draw? So we have here the first ball. So, ang maaari mong pagpilian ay dalawang white ball. So, lagyan natin ng white and white. And then, we have here one black ball. So, that is for your first ball. And then, sa second ball, kapag white yung nabunot mo, so, so second ball, maaari ka pa rin makakuha ng white, white, and black. Same with, kapag yung isang white naman na bunot mo, you have here white, white, and black. Kapag naman black yung na bunot mo, so ang iyong options ay ganun pa rin. So, white, white, and black. So, therefore, lagay natin dito yung mga possible combinations niya. So, we have here white, white white, white white, black white, white white, white white, black black, white black, white and black Black. So, these are the possible combinations or ito yung ating mga sample space. And then, bilangin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, therefore, number of S is 9. So, ganun lang kung paano natin malaman yung mga possible combinations. So, again, napakahalaga din na uh, uh, tree diagram para mas malinaw nyo makita, lalo na kapag may mga question regarding sa probability of an event. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, pwede nyo itong i-share. So, pwede nyo rin balikan yung ating ilang mga videos. And, see you on my next video. And, thank you for watching.